Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and welcome to the future. We are sat on the tracks here with Francesco, who is the CEO of Hitachi Construction Equipment Europe. This is the showstopper over right here, isn't it? Yeah. Land Cross One. Now there's a reason it's called that, folks, and you're gonna have to tell me what that is, because this is the future and it's whole encompassing in one machine, but one big vision, isn't it? Correct, you just nailed it. This is not only machine, this is all the customer journey about our future customers. We, we are pleased and honored of the current generation of our current customers that privilege our machines, our famous orange machine for reliability, controllability. It's just gonna be more and more in the future. But that generation is retiring. They're gonna go in Spain, rent a house, <laughs> and have fun, right? But well, who is who's next? Yeah. Next is people like my kid, your kid, yep. they play PlayStations and they need and deserve a different environment. Yep. This machine takes the heritage of that control, bring into the digital world and creates a new world around Land Cross One. Starting from the internal design of the cab, which is familiar to people that is driving today's car yep yeah yep, right yep. that's what you automotive expect. standards comfy seats really comfortable joystick control exactly etc yeah screens that you can touch and see you will have the possibility also to integrate all the technology that you have around with our technology partners seamless integrating one machine today there is a lot of people playing but they're playing solo yeah right our objective is to be open and integrate everybody in one single easy to use futuristic thing and that opens with even one more yep and so for me you know we've already seen hitachi take the lead when you're talking about delivering a whole solution for customers they're doing a lot in the uk where you're combining machine control from the likes of Leica gear systems with the actual tilt rotators and everything's delivered to the customer ready to dig ready to go because the customer doesn't want an excavator they want to it. be able to dig a hole in a really really simple cost effective efficient and controlled way totally and in the future it's not going to be only digging a, a hole but it's going to be doing a lot of grabbing moving and doing a lot of different things yep. we're going to enable the next generation to do that and on top of that given the high speed internet yep. and connectivity you will be able to manage this machine from an operation, an office, maybe in India, maybe in UK for people that wants to work from home or maybe anywhere else because of the technologies embedded in the machine. So then a person will not have to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, travel to work site, bed in winter, all yeah, that yeah. stuff, and then throw it back because simply will tell you why do you just don't do it yourself. And I think what's really important about that, folks, is how we attract the next generation, but it's also how we actually look at the way in which we do things. Everybody is used to using a screen, an app for that, the this for that. I've even seen with the, the design of this in the 3D, you're literally folding out the screen. That's well, cool. that's clever, isn't it? Because we don't want cab clutter, but when we do need more information, it's like opening the book to technology, isn't it? When you need it. Correct. And today we're using that in a car. Sometimes you open it. Sometimes you ask and the machine is going to tell you because you don't need to know. Or it's going to project in the screen with AI assistant tools what you want or what you should not do. But the beauty of this machine is that we're not envisioning technology is not existing there. Next door there, I have an autonomous machine running. Yep. Uh, we all see in the construction side remote operations, even our boot on everybody else. The change here is just make it easy inaccessible and reliable. And there's companions that you have shown me. So we've got this machine here, but we've got its companion drone, which is helping it do some surveying and feeding in the data into the scanning system and the sensors. It. Well, I like a companion that helps you. You normally got it in the cab with the AI safety solutions also integrated, but having the drone to companion scan tells you what you do next. Exactly, not only that, but you can also show a progress you're making and checking if what you're doing, you're progressing. If some of the work, work construction site is working remotely, you can actually check, are you doing any progress, not doing any progress, what is your challenge? And it is just a companion with you, but also being part of the whole entire network of 
machines working all across. So now you can have one construction manager managing multiple construction sites. Yeah, and I then think when we're looking at this, this whole vision of the future, if we're going to be more productive and if we're going to avoid big traffic jams on motorways and things like that, we can work 24-7, then that allows us to do things differently and allows us to, to help the wider community so they're not stuck in traffic jams, therefore using all the fuel and stuff. It's the sustainability elements that technology and digitalization gives us that really makes a difference though, isn't it? You nail it. Yeah. That's it. And, and if you think about it today, our customers ask us, well, it is too expensive because they need to get the amortization of the cost of these machines that are, have more technology, they will be a little bit more expensive. But think about the real cost is for how long you have a machine, how fast you can jump from one side to the other. Slash that cost, not by three, but half of it. Yep. Everybody's winning. Is winning construction, is winning us as users, is winning operators, and everybody's winning. So the other thing you've got to think about, folks, is you've got to future-proof this as well, though, Francesco, because yeah. guess what? I've been talking about hydrogen, drop-in fuels, methanol, HVO, all of these different things, electric machines everywhere. So, you know, you can't date this machine, can you? So can you put different fuels in it as well? Of course. <laughs> so, and that's why it's called the one, as they well, say. Well, that's the one that's going to be the first one of a multiple generation, but it is the one because I think it's the one that is open up a different thinking. Yeah, yeah. And I think is the I would like to think of this like is the pioneer of an easier and more friendly and sustainable construction site. Of course, you will have machinery with batteries, fuel cell, yep. eventually hydrogen. The future is not going to be one energy solution prevailing on the other. It's going to be the proper energy solution for the right application. Sometimes you're going to need diesel. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're going to need battery. Sometimes hydrogen is the best solution. And this machine will offer the, at the order in time, the flexibility to order in one way or the other. And I think what's interesting about that is you might find that there's a hydrogen machine and they're first generation of customers. But we have machines now that are capable of working many hours, many years. And so the next generation might want a diesel engine because it might be sent somewhere else in the world. And these things we have to think about if we're going to make sure this future vision is accessible for all, not just where we are in Bama with lots of experienced operators, but anywhere in the world with the simple operation and the operator assist functions that enable them to dig once and dig well. Absolutely. Bauma is important because we see Bauma as the leading technology plays all around. I think it is between Bauma and Conexpo are the two places yeah. where physical and digital men's to get in this digital war, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's the beauty. So that's why we're here and not in a show in any other place of the world because that's where this kind of mission starts and most likely we'll see something similar at Conexpo next time. And so for me, folks, what this is really about is it's about Hitachi saying, right, we can do some of the stuff really, 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 really well. But then when you're giving us some technology, when you're giving us something that's not even invented yet, come and talk to us because that, that accessibility, that collaboration, that totally. enables the, the, the industry to work together better, doesn't it? And there is no other solution. In fact, one of the key values of Lencross which is our new strategy, is being an open solution partner with whoever wants to bring the te technology and solutions to the next level. So we are working already with the many different technology providers, naming Leica, Topcom, Trimble, and here we have Agis Robotics. I can have a full list of each yeah, one yeah. of them, and we are inviting everybody to bring the best possible solution to create a killer application in the market. So open to work with everybody else. We have already, a, as you can see, a few partners being part of this, but yeah. the future is going to be about being open because the speed of technology is going to be much faster than speed of moving the metal. Those two things have a two different time. It's going to be not real to couple those two to think, to think together. That's actually, that's the learning we should take from the car business. Yeah, the yeah, car yeah. business lately, they went late because they were not late, ready with softer, but they were ready with the metal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so, folks, it is still sunny here at Hitachi, and we have got one big, massive news point here today with Francesco that actually incorporates a whole lot 
of the future. And that, folks, is why we're sat on the tracks that matter here at Bauma. Great to talk to you, Francesco. Take me there anytime. Thank Cheers. you.